March 11th, 2020. Good morning from Europe. Good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are, guys. Piotr here. It's my pleasure to make GBP update. We do have Bank of England cut. Is it unexpected? Well, I don't think so. Maybe the time of that cut uh, is not the best. Uh, you know that I'm, I'm, I'm negative towards the pound. Don't forget that you can check and monitor my life trades. Uh, I'm using one account for all the for all the uh, strategies, uh, but it doesn't matter. You can you can you can check it, guys. Link is in the description. Uh, I think this cut with the spike to the downside, well, that's gonna be a little bit of the challenge, uh, but plenty of additional informations, news are coming out of the UK within the next few hours. So guys, without the further delay, let's have a look what we have on the charts. Okay, so that's the cable and the full move to the downside over here, right? That's the huge gap and I'm not going to be surprised that the market will try to close that gap, all right? Uh, I'm still short pound, okay? I still think we are going to see lower levels, but, but... I'm not going to be surprised to see the manipulation above, right? Because what? Everyone and his dog is trying to sell the pound right now, right? So I'm prepared. I'm prepared for the break and move higher as well. And we are going to discuss the higher possible levels. But first, let's check what we have when it comes to the calendar. And we have the first press conference after the Bank of England cut. Then we have GDP, industrial production, and then budget release. And there, there, I do expect huge spending. And I think that even if we see short term manipulation to the, down, uh, to the upside, the medium term is going to be uh, the downside, right? That's how I see the thing. If it, is, it, is it going to work that way? Well, hopefully, right? I do like cables, straight cable to the downside. I may look for the pound Swiss franc or the pound yen, but because of this coordinated action, guys, because of the coordinated action, we might see a little bit of the risk on. So in that case, pound Swiss franc and pound yen, we might see a little bit of the rally, right? Uh, so straight for me is a cable right here, right now, all right? Now, let's start from the higher time frame. Let's have a look where we are from the daily chart perspective. Okay, so we have this huge spike to the downside, right? And the thing is, it's a retest of this over under as well as the break to the upside through those upper shadows uh, we've seen a few days ago, right? So I'm not so surprised that we see this bounce, right? Especially that plenty of traders been caught uh, being long, they, their stops were hit, right? Uh, so maybe uh, they also reverse their position. So I see some kind of the possible manipulation uh, to the upside, right? Because now everyone, oh yeah, Bank of England, we saw the cut. So intraday, it could be, uh, it could be higher. How high can we go? All right? How 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 high can we go? Well, as of now, as of now, based on the daily chart, there is a retest overnight, right? Based on the latest, uh, the the bottom of the latest weakness. That's what we discussed. 
we saw the breakdown yesterday. It was huge, right? So I would like to see some kind of the manipulation to the upside, right? As of now, we saw the reaction, but I think market may want to try to go higher. Now, what I'm talking about, Piot, tell us what you're talking about. Well, I think the, the, the level we are discussing here, that's of course, everyone see that and knows that, right? But I would look for, in that case, because this lime zone, right? That was the latest weakness. That's where Mark, we, we were watching. We broke through that level. So first thing first, let me remove just to, you know, to avoid the situation that we are, I'm gonna make some cleaning. So now what I'm looking for I'm looking for the latest strength, right? So where was the, that was the latest weakness. So the break here, that was the latest strength, right? So I'm looking for the bottom of that candle as the first possible supply higher, right? And to be honest with you, I think that that's where market was going to before we hit the pound with this Bank of England cat news, right? So we missed a bit. So I think that might be the first. The second, the second, I do believe that 50% of yesterday range, right? So in that case, that's going to be the latest weakness top. So our zone here, right? And finally, and finally, of course, the engulf, meaning the Monday low, right? It's also related to the monthly chart, red color, right? So that's the three levels I'm watching from the perspective of the uh, selling opportunity, right? Uh, and I'm, you know, I'm, I told you for quite a few days that I'm negative towards the pound, right? Last time we seen Last time we seen this type of the candle, like we've seen yesterday, there was a reverse. That's what we might see today. And then we made lower low, right? So in that case, if that's gonna be the case, all right, if that's gonna be the case, So we might we might retest some uh, lower lower levels towards 2780. That's my short term target. Uh, medium term target 2650 25. Uh, I'm not gonna tell you about my long term target yet, right? It's the time. The right time will come for sure. So let's switch lower to the intraday chart. Let's have a look uh, what we can do. What kind of the measure, right? So. Of course, I'm going to watch carefully uh, attempt to closing the gap. No doubt about it, right? There might be even some kind of the stop count here, right? But if we are going to get the close below, that's going to be interesting. But there is a big but. What... if we are going to see full breakout, then I'm going to make the measure as usual, right? Nothing extraordinary. The same size to the upside, right? And ooh, ooh, looks like the third one, the red color might be in play, right? So I'm not in, I, I'm, I'm not hurry, to be honest with you, uh, when it comes to selling pounds right now to renew. I'm still sitting short some, uh, so I'm going to be very, very careful and patient. And why then here? It's not only related to monthly chart. Look at this, guys. Look at this consolidation. That also gonna be almost 50% of that consolidation. Don't forget about it, right? Don't forget about it. So the volatility is higher. We have to understand, right? Lower exposure, higher volatility. Uh, bigger moves so that's that's 
what we like that's uh, for what for us i may even try in case of the break to the upside i may try to you know speculate a bit short term uh the long side but well to be honest with you that's gonna be challenge uh, that's gonna be challenge so uh we know the levels right uh, we know that the exposure should be much, much lower because of the higher volatility. And we know that we have Bank of England press conference, GDP industrial production and the budget release. Guys, stay safe. Don't be trapped. See you around. Have a great London session. Thank you very much. Take care. Goodbye.